town from the north, from Harrisburg and Carlisle. Uh, Humiston was mortally wounded uh, on the afternoon of July 1st. They found his body after the battle. He had no identification. Uh, they didn't have official dog tags back then, but he was clutching a photograph of his three children. Uh, that was how he died. Uh, it so moved one of the surgeons who was treating the wounded afterwards that he took the image to Philadelphia where it was described in an article by the Philadelphia Inquirer under the headline, Whose Father Was He? It became a sensation in the North. Uh, Humiston's widow was eventually uh, discovered. She stepped forward to identify herself and the family uh, actually lived here after the war was over. Uh, the, the Humiston story. We actually kind of paused when I said after the war was over. So can we keep going? Yeah. Okay. The Humiston story is one of the most gripping human stories of the war. In the Civil War era, soldiers dying away from their families were determined to try to find photographs of their children and their spouses so they could die what they called then the good death surrounded by their family and at peace with God. That was what Humiston did here, and it was an electrifying moment for Northern home front when they heard the story of the reunification of Humiston and his family, the identification of his body. It's also a sign, though, of how bad things were for the Union on that first day.